Hello, math students. It's Mr. Carapeza. I'm um, just recording a quick um, video to kick us off this week. I know this is pretty weird, but we're going to make it our new normal, at least for the time being. Um, so I just wanted to quickly go over the expectations of um, math in general. <clears throat> we are going to try our best to just continue on with what we were doing in class. So for us, that's going to be finishing up our unit on equations. Um, today and even tomorrow maybe is going to be a bit of a review of some stuff just to make sure that um, we get back on track and have some time to to just get equations back in our head. Um, and then the days after that we're going to try our best to, to finish things up and then we'll go from there next week. Um, so just what should this school look like? Um, on Google Classroom. I'm sure you've heard it before, but just in case you missed it, every day by 8 a.m. I will have posted the day's work um, with some detailed instructions for you and just some tips to help make you more successful. Um, if I assign something on Monday, which would be today, it's expected that you would have it turned in on Google Classroom by 8 a.m. of the next day. I hope, hope, hope that you can get it in sooner because I plan on trying to give you all feedback on the work that you send to me. And if you send it earlier in the day, I can get it to you before the next day starts. So it'll be a little bit more useful. Um, second, show your work as best as you possibly can. So what does that mean? It means you're gonna have to get a clean sheet of paper. You're gonna have to work out your problems on paper. Um, I would advise you to write the original problem down that you see on the assignment and then show your steps just like we have done in class the past few weeks um, and then circle um, whatever your final answer is so that I can easily see that check and then give you some feedback on how you're doing. Um, I'm sure that there's at least one of you if not many of you who are kind of fuzzy in the brain about what we had been doing. It's been a few days and it's been probably a little hectic for for some of us. So I'm going to do um, two example problems on this video that you can use as a reference for today's work and going forward in case you forgot how to do it. And if you just need a re refresh run, how do you even show your work? So what we have here is a two-step equation. One-half times x minus 8 equals 12. And if you can remember from the last time we were in school together, since we are solving an equation and we're uh, working backwards using inverse operations, we are going to go backwards through PEMDAS. So first we're going to look, is there any addition or subtraction? And in this equation there is, there's minus 8, and so the inverse of that is to add 8. That will get rid of 8 on the left side of the equation, and whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So 12 plus 8. So on the right side of the equation, I now have 20. And the leftover part on the left side is 1 half times x. And since it's 1 half multiplied by x, the inverse of that is to divide by 1 half. So I'm going to divide by 1 half. 1 half divided by itself is 1. And that leaves on the left hand side x which is what we want and whatever you do to one side you do to the other so I'm going to divide by one half and when we divide by a fraction it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal so the reciprocal of one half is 2 over 1 and 20 times 2 over 1 is 40 so for this equation, x equals 40, final answer. And that's how you can show your work. I'm a little sloppy, but uh, try your best to be neat. And then you could double check before you turn something in um, just to make sure that it makes sense. So if we're saying x equals 40, 1 half times 40 is 20, and 20 minus 8 does equal 12. So this answer checks out. Um, and then one more example for you just in case the first one wasn't enough. <clears throat> In this equation we have 3 plus x divided by 4. Remember this is division. 
even though it looks like a fraction, it's just another way to express division, equals 6. So the first inverse operation is I'm going to get rid of this plus 3. And how do you get rid of plus 3? You subtract it. 3 minus 3 is 0, which is exactly what I want. I want it to eliminate. So on the left-hand side, I have x divided by 4. And on the right-hand side, I have to do the same thing that I did to the left. So I'm going to subtract 3. 6 minus 3 leaves 3 on this side. And my final step is to do the opposite, the inverse of divide by 4, which is multiply by 4. So that eliminates divide by 4. And whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So 3 times 4 equals 12. And there you have it. So if you forgot, here's a quick refresher. Good luck on today's work. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Um, I'm also in the process of figuring out a time that I can set up a Google Meetup for our class, um, either every day or every other day. Um, this is new for me too, so I just have to figure out the details. But once I get that figured out, um, details will be posted here in Google Classroom. And hopefully we can chat but until then, do your best, stay safe, and enjoy day one of Math at Home. See ya.